Hi guys, welcome back to reading the word and understanding the Bible verse. Today in 1 Samuel I read chapter 8 and chapter 9 and what I find interesting is chapter 8 verse 8 it says as they have done from the day I have brought them out of Egypt until this day forsaken me and serve other gods so they are doing to you now listen to them but warn them solemnly and let them know what the king who will reign over them will do and then you go all the way to um, in chapter 8 still verse 17 he will take a tenth of your flocks and your your you yourselves will become slaves when the day comes you will cry out for relief from the king you have chosen and the Lord will not answer you in that day so what I find interesting about this is God is already warning him that all the young men and all the women will serve will serve the king um, they will become slaves that the king will take the best crops the best cattle um, he will make the men, he will make the young men servants of war. So when they go fight, he would have many, he would have all those young men fighting for him. So, um, but the king will be very strong. And instead of just falling into the Lord's hands, the king's going to kind of like just take over and kind of like make them slaves. Just like they would. Kind of just like they were in Egypt. And that's what I find interesting about this is Israel still wanted a ruler because they couldn't physically see God. They seen his wonders and the amazing blessings they had with him. But they physically still couldn't see God themselves. So they were like, we still want a king. So the king was going to do take rule over all this. And in chapter 9, we find out who the king is. And the king is um, Solomon. The king was Saul. So, in chapter 9, we learn about Saul and him becoming, starting to become king of Israel. So, that's what I find interesting about this is we just have to remember that the Israelites didn't, weren't blessed to have the faith that we have with Jesus Christ. So we number that today. Pray that we have a good day and blessed day. Love you guys and have a great day.